Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, June 28, 2017 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Columbia, Maryland. Well, you probably heard by now, but there is yet another ransomware strain making the rounds, uh, taking advantage of uh, the exploits leaked uh, from the NSA, known as Eternal Blue and Eternal Romance. Now, what distinguishes this latest version from WannaCry is uh, most of all how it enters the network. WannaCry really relied on scanning the internet for exposed SMB version 1 hosts. This latest version apparently got started initially via a malicious upgrade. A Ukrainian company that makes accounting software apparently got uh, breached and then pushed out the malware to its customers in the form of an automatic update. Somewhat ironic that this malware, which still relies a lot on unpatched systems, did get started uh, with a patch, but uh, this particular software company actually had this happen before. Apparently back in May, another strain of ransomware was pushed uh, by this company via its update servers. Now, of course, once uh, the malware entered a particular network, it did use uh, the Eternal Blue and Eternal Romance exploits to spread. There's also evidence uh, that it does use WMIC, so essentially if it can get a hold of unprotected shares, it will try to copy itself. Now, another difference to Eternal Blue here is how the encryption works. Eternal Blue did encrypt individual files. Uh, this particular ransomware does actually actually reboot the system and then attempt to encrypt the entire disk. So the system will reboot and then you'll see a check disk message. There is a small window here where if you power down the machine before it can completely modify the disk, you may be able to recover most of your files. The boot sector will then be overwritten with the ransom message. Sadly, it looks like some of the victims have already paid and the Bitcoin address that is used by this ransomware already received about 10 or 11 bitcoins so far. Now, in addition to the initial infection via the malicious updates, there appears to be also email going around with Excel spreadsheet attachments that do download this ransomware. It's at this point a little bit difficult to tell if it's the same ransomware or different ransomware. There are a number of strains of malware going around that are abusing this a particular vulnerability and it's pretty easy to throw them all into the same pot if they are really different uh, pieces of malware that originate from different sources. This latest uh, malware usually is uh, named Petya, sometimes golden eye is also sort of a variant. It really sort of has uh, properties from both golden eye and Petya and uh, pretty sure that it originates uh, from the same authors. Now, Kaspersky kind of took some exception at calling it Petya. They're calling it actually not a Petya to point out that it's something different. As always, malware keeps evolving and it's sometimes hard to pin down when you should call it something different or when it's still just a minor variation of some existing and known piece of malware. But well, uh, the real question everybody's asking is what should you do in response uh, to this latest uh, ransomware? My advice, uh, do nothing. If you regularly listen to this podcast, you probably already got SMB version 1 disabled. You got patched with MS1710. So beyond that, uh, not really too much uh, that you can do. Up to date antivirus tools, all the basics uh, should pretty much uh, keep uh, this latest threat in check. People have uh, published uh, certain vaccine files that you can drop on the system because the malware does check for the presence of these files and will not run. Well, uh, before you do this, make sure you got the basics straight because I'm pretty sure that tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, it will check for a different file. But well, uh, time spent on patching and securing your configuration on the other hand is probably going to protect you 
against the next variant as well. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.